What does the DoD say about social media? Let's find out. We have something called DoDI 5400.17. And DoDI 5400.17 covers social media, both personal use and official use. I only use it for personal use, so let's go over that. In Section 8 of the DoD 5400.17, it covers five main points for social media use. I'm going to give you the five points, and then we're going to go over them. One, maintain a clear distinction between personal and official accounts. Two, don't disclose non-public information. Three, do not conduct official business on personal accounts. Number four, don't accept any compensation for any activity relating to one's status as as a DOD employee or a service member. And five, don't engage in any political activity. So what does all that mean? Let's break it down. Number one, maintaining a clear distinction between personal and official accounts. Basically just stating, hey, this is a personal account, not DOD affiliated. You can't use titles, insignias, or uniforms that would imply DOD endorsement. Too easy. Number two, not disclosing public information. That's pretty self-explanatory and I have personal experience with this exactly. I got investigated a couple times for doing some news stories, which I do all the time. They alleged that I shared non-public information, but that's why Platoon Padre is always a couple steps ahead. Every single time I do a story like that, I only use news articles that are available to the whole public. I never use any of my words. I don't share opinions and I don't take sides. Number three, not conducting official business on personal accounts. The dot 17 says personal social media cannot be used as an avenue for friends, followers, or others to gain access to DOD programs that aren't available to the public. Now, again, a lot of my videos are informational and educational, but that's because I target service members, people that are about to become service members, as well as veterans and spouses. Number four, not accepting any compensation for any activity relating to one's status as a DOD employee or service member. Now that one's a little tricky. I'm not going to lie. Do some service members get paid by the platforms? Yes. Some service members get paid by the different platforms, but some service members have lawyers. They use an LLC to separate themselves from the platform and to add a layer of protection. A service member may not affirm endorsement of the DOD, cannot get paid sponsorships or ad revenue because of the uniform or because of our status in the military. And you basically just can't use the uniform or your status to make money. And the last one, don't engage in any political activity. Hopefully this helped explain to you what DOD 5400.17 is. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Follow me, Silly Goose.